Hello everyone. My name is Morgan Freeman. I'm here today to tell you about some new software. Software that enables you to generate photorealistic images just from text prompts. Software that lets you synthesize famous people's voices and software that lets you animate still pictures of people. You see, the thing is, I am not really Morgan Freeman. All of this was done using just software. Do I have your attention now? Hello everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just made that, and I made it in about 20 minutes. And that was from scratch, signing up for everything, well, except for Mid Journey, which I already had. And this isn't a picture of Morgan Freeman. This is a picture that Midjourney generated. So this is an AI image. And then using a voice synthesizer that utilizes AI, I was able to um, make his voice, my voice, sound like him. And then using a third service online, I was able to combine that modified voice with um, animation. And all of this is available for free if you so desire. So um, I'd like to run through with you how I did it and um, show you exactly what's going on. So first things first, I was on Mid Journey. I synthesized Morgan Freeman headshot DSR photo. That gets you um, photorealistic images. And um, this was a mistake. I put in aspect ratio three by two. I soon realized I needed aspect ratio three, two by three. So after a few tests, I came up with this one. It's got the top of his head in it, it's got the bottom of his head in it. Great, this is just what I need to produce the best sort of stuff. So I upscaled it, and here it is. All right, I clicked on it, I saved it locally. Then I went to a website called Voice AI. So um, let's see, we, here we are. Voice AI, I downloaded the software, and you're getting enough free credits when you start to download one voice. That one voice that I chose was, um, Morgan Freeman. So uh, let me show you the software. Here it is. I have given this uh, a pay anything that I like a lot. I, I, I tend to uh, purchase. So I've purchased a one-month subscription to this. Now you start off with five thousand credits to train uh, a voice. I don't know. It costs about four thousand credits or something. Let's see how much. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. Voice.ai This is a standard... So, I think that when you um, do the free version, you are going to find that it is going to have some kind of uh, watermark over the top of it. But I've paid $14.99 and now I have a month worth of unfettered usage, I believe, of this site. So, I've already got the two defaults that it comes with, which are pop star and politician. This isn't a pop star. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. Voice.ai This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. Voice.ai. Well, he sounds a little bit like Joe Biden, doesn't he? And this sounds a little bit like a pop star. Um, so when it came to Morgan Freeman, who uh, I was used all my credits up on, I um, had to put on my finest American accent so that I would sound a little bit more like him. And I don't think the results were too bad. But let me just show you, um, for example, let's, let's turn me into a, a female pop star. Um, what shall I say? I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son, but I'll go on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son, but I'll go on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. Ah, yeah, that's a passable female voice. So let's try this um, politician, Joe Biden. What does Joe Biden say? Uh. You know, the thing. I can't think of anything else Joe Biden says. Sorry, Joe Biden fans. Uh, you know, the thing. Well, that's alright as well. Not that great. But anyway, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to do Patrick Stewart. So Patrick Stewart is a fine Englishman just like me. The voice should work and we should be able to get some sort of half passable result. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make an image of Patrick Stewart. We could take one off the internet, but let's make our own. So I'm going to switch into fast mode so this works quickly. Search imagine headshot Patrick Stewart DSLR photo dash dash AR 2x3. And that should come through relatively quickly. We might not be satisfied with the first one, but you know, if I get one that's got the top of his head, the bottom of his head, I'll be happy. I don't care if it's a young Patrick Stewart, an old Patrick Stewart. I think he's always been bald, to be honest. Right, okay, these are coming through now. Getting there. Two percent done. Do you know what? I'm starting to think that the uh, the Blue Willow AI service is actually quicker. All right, so let's have a look at these. I think that one is the best likeness of Patrick Stewart, the top one, and it's got everything we need in it. So let's go with that one. Yeah. So upscale one. I'm going to switch it back to relaxed mode so that I don't waste all my uh, fast time. Um, now your job's not be for you. Right, marvellous. Excuse me, one of my guinea pigs has decided to drink from the bottle halfway through a recording. There we go. Gone back in their box. Right. So. Next step is to record my audio. So, that is here. We're going to use Patrick Stewart. Uh, what does Patrick Stewart say? Um, right, he does the opening theme to uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, doesn't he? Let's get find the words for that online. Bear with me one second. Star Trek TNG opening monologue. Right, okay, so um, one of the problems I've got here is I have to have my microphone quite near my laptop because um, I am recording. At the same time, that will um, include the background noise of the fan. In ideal circumstances, you can record it somewhere else, select the file, and um, then you won't have any background interference. But I'm just going to have to do what I can for now. So let's try this. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. I wonder how that will come out. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Well, that's what Patrick Stewart would sound like if he had a vague Essex twang to him. But, um, hey, hey, close enough. So, let's go to the next stage. So, for the next stage, I went to another website, which was called, bear with me, Here we are. Oh, so I forgot. With this, we're going to have to save that. So let's save that to call it PS. Right. So I go to create video and I want to add a new person. Did we download the picture of Patrick Stewart? No, it hadn't loaded through, had it? But there it is. Save image. Save. And then we can go back to here. There we go, we have it. 
So here I have my image of Patrick Stewart. It's clear, there's nothing obstructing the face. And up here I can upload my own audio voice. So let's find that PS file. Now this is called Studio DID, and they give you five minutes of recording for free. I think they give you five minutes every two weeks. So I've got 17 credits left. That first thing I did with Morgan Freeman used three credits. I suspect this will use another two, maybe another three. Let's see, is this here? Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Enterprise. It's continuing... Mi right, okay, so... That's done. Let's generate the video. Two credits. And this is relatively quickly, to be honest. At least it was the last time. And this one should be quicker, because there we go. So, let's have a look at this one. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Enterprise. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. So it would appear that I can do a better Morgan Freeman than I can do a Patrick Stewart. I suppose he has got that sort of theatrical voice about him. But let's just play the Patrick Stewart one again. Hello, everyone. My name is Morgan Freeman. I'm here today to tell you about some new software. Software that enables you to generate photorealistic images just from text prompts. Software that lets you synthesize famous people's voices. And software that lets you animate still pictures of people. You see, the thing is, I... Not really, Morgan Freeman. All of this was done using just software. Do I have your attention now? Excuse me. So, the three tools that I used to make this were voice.ai, which you can get free. Um, you get 5,000 credits for implying extra people. So I think that you can actually um, get more use out of this. I don't know whether or not it still have a watermark on it. Um, you may have to make multiple recordings to get around the watermark thing if you want to use it free. However, wonderful service. Only $14.99 a month if you want to uh, check it out for a month. And you can get free credits by inviting people. The other piece of software was Midjourney, which uh, runs in the Discord. Um, if you don't know how to use Midjourney, I have made a video on it. I'll link to it in the comments along with a link to uh, voice.ai. And the other one was Studio DID. Studio.DID or DID. Maybe it's just called DID, maybe the program. Uh, yes, it is just called DID. Right, okay, so uh, I'll just leave you with one last thing and uh, we'll, uh, we'll call it a day there. Goodbye, everyone, from Patrick Stewart. Goodbye, everyone, from Patrick Stewart. I got to work on that accent.